Hey everyone, my name is Chris and thanks for coming to my channel. In this video, I wanted to talk about AirPods. Specifically, I wanted to talk about how they work with iOS and with Android. Let's get into it. So we've all heard this blue bubble, green bubble debate. There's been a whole bunch of articles written on it. There's podcast series on it. I'm not here to pick a side between Apple and Android, but I did want to share my experience as somebody who uses both and at least I think has successfully used AirPods with both products. So just for background, I carry two phones with me. I carry an iPhone. This is an iPhone 10 and a Android phone. This is a Google Pixel 3 XL. Uh, and the reason I'm carrying an Android phone now is because we're a G Suite shop at work. So we're using all Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Gmail. Uh, and I find that it just works a lot better if you have an Android phone. My personal phone, on the other hand, has been an iPhone really since the iPhone 3GS. That was my first dive into the iPhone ecosystem and I've upgraded phones ever since. Uh, until the iPhone 10, I haven't upgraded since then. So before I got the Pixel, I used to have two iPhones, uh, but as somebody who wants to provide like impartial reviews and get a, an experience from both the Android and the iOS side, I thought that whenever I was up for an upgrade, it made more sense because of my work obligations, but also just because I was interested to see what Android was um, to get an Android phone. And at that point, I got the best Android phone at the time, which was a Google Pixel 3 XL. Now looking back, we can definitely have some discussions about that. But at the time, uh, the Pixel was the best Android phone that was out there. So that's what I went with. So reason for this video, let's talk about AirPods. These weird little earbuds uh, kind of took us by storm. At first, when they came out, people thought they looked weird on other people. and. Uh, it was just really a, a status symbol that, hey, I have and can afford AirPods. Uh, fast forward a few years later and now everybody has them. They're more of an accessory now than they are a tool because regardless of where you go, you'll find people who are just walking down the sidewalk, walking throughout the city with AirPods in their ears. Some people might just wear them all the time and not even remember that they have them on. And if you ask my friends at work, I'm one of those people. So from a product perspective, I think AirPods are some of the most convenient pieces of tech that Apple has ever made. Um, they work seamlessly with iOS and Mac and Apple TV and any sort of Apple device. You're able to connect to all of those devices. The experience is just seamless. You only have to pair your AirPods once and then you're able to use them on any of your other devices. I can switch from one iPhone to another, to an iPad, to my Apple TV and that convenience is just something that I haven't found anywhere else. So since I'm always wearing my AirPods and using them with my iPhone and my iPad, uh, and I do have another work phone where I am taking calls, I am listening to music sometimes and podcasts and things like that, uh, that got me wondering how seamless would it be if I also integrate my Android phone uh, to my AirPod listening experience. Specifically, what I wanted to find out was, can I pair my AirPods to my Android device and switch between iOS and Android as seamless as I can between iOS and other Apple devices? And the answer was surprisingly, yes. So let's talk about what that looks like. So here's how it works. Before you get started, you need to be sure that you already have your AirPods connected to your Android device and your iPhone. So here you'll see, I have my AirPods connected to my iPhone. We have music playing, you can see the top blue icon blinking, and you can also see the AirPods in the volume settings. So what you need to do is you need to go into the Android Bluetooth settings. You'll see that my AirPods are already connected. And whenever I tap on the AirPods, they will connect pretty quickly. And this is one of the things that surprised me. I thought it would have been a lot more burdensome to connect my AirPods, but I quickly realized that as long as they're connected to my Android device, I can switch between them pretty seamlessly. So because I am using Spotify and I was streaming it on my iPhone, I did have to do a little exercise just to make sure that the music was playing on my Pixel 3 XL. It's not something that I have to do every time I switch. And what's cool is that you keep a lot of the features that you get whenever you use AirPods with an iPhone. 
For example, tapping twice on the left pauses and plays. Meanwhile, if you double tap the right side, it'll go to the next song. What you do lose though is the ability to pause and play music whenever you take the AirPod out and put it back in. But that's something that doesn't bug me that much. Like I mentioned earlier, I do take a lot of phone calls on my Pixel, so being able to take them on the AirPods just makes taking calls a little bit more convenient. The standard USB-C headphones aren't really that great, so it's nice that I don't have to carry multiple Bluetooth headsets just to take calls on different phones. So what do I love most about my AirPod setup? It's definitely the flexibility, and that's one word that you don't really hear a lot with Apple. The fact that this one pair of headphones can connect to multiple devices, including the Apple TV and the Mac Mini, is just incredible. I've had my share of Bluetooth headphones, and at most I can connect to two, maybe three devices. But none of them have offered the seamless experience when switching between devices like the AirPods have. So, the question then is, would I get AirPods if I only had an Android phone? And the quick answer there is no. Uh, for the price point, there are a lot better headphone options, especially wireless earbuds, uh, that you could be better off with if you just had an Android phone. This is more my experience as somebody who uses an Android and an iOS phone, and now I'm still able to use my AirPods to do similar tasks, um, even though you do have some loss of functionality. So if you have AirPods and you have an iPhone and an iOS device, What's your experience like? Do you have separate headphones for each? Or do you just rock one pair for both? Uh, really interested to see what your setup is like. So let me know in the description down below. And yeah, thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, really means a lot to me. We just hit 100 subscribers the other day, so that was a pretty big milestone. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try to keep churning out some videos and uh, making some more content for you guys. Uh, sorry about the the hat. The hair is, is pretty bad. I need a haircut, but there's nowhere to get it. So, uh, yeah, just going to rock this hat for now. All right, that's it. I'll stop talking. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.